Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here with a quick breakdown of one of our testing belts from our collection or our, uh, stable here. It's the Blue Force Gear Chalk Belt, why it's one of our favorite designs, how we have it set up for our testing, and what it takes to do that. Let's get started. Okay, so we've been getting a ton of questions about our different belt builds. We have a wide variety of belts. Um, all built out here at the shop to do testing for all of our different ice vents configurations. We've got Blue Force gear, we've got AWS, we've got Lead Devil, we've got all the best stuff here. And you guys have been asking us, hey, can you give us a build list? Can you walk us through that? Can you give us a gear list? No problem. That's exactly what this video is for. So let's get into it. This is personally one of my favorite belts ever made. Okay, the chalk belt is absolutely amazing. This is, as I just said, the chalk belt by Blue Force Gear. And this is really the whole jam in a nutshell. It has this contour to it that is absolutely amazing. Super comfortable, kind of a yield killer, so it dries up cost a little bit, but I can tell you from experience, worth every freaking penny. This is hands down one of my favorite belts ever built. As soon as I laid eyes on this thing, I think the first time I saw it was November of 2020 or uh, November maybe of 2019. It was, oh my gosh, it's awesome. And the reason it's awesome partly is that contour. That contour just makes it sit on your hips super, super nice. So going from the uh, front of the belt and around, we have a, a very simple, I think this is a one inch Cobra buckle. Uh, and then we have, you know, loop and hook lining so that it interfaces to tuck the tail on the inside. And then we have this little tail here, which is one of my favorite design details on the chalk belt, which is a, uh, you know, nylon webbing extension that allows you to kind of cinch down the belt like this if you need to. So you can do kind of like what I would call micro adjustment sizing. So if you have a puffy jacket, a thinner jacket, no jacket at all, this allows you to really get that sizing down and adjustability for what I would just call like seasons of life. Uh, but consistent with all great designs, great design is all about detail. Details make a huge difference. And this little size tag, so I wear a 34, uh, this little size tag makes a, a huge difference, right? This is just this neat little, very, very well executed, uh, clean size tag that is on the bottom of the tail, of the, the size adjustment tail. And it has this articulated or a, you know slanted bottom so that it makes tucking the tail very, very easy. I personally like super clean stuff that where you can tuck things away like this because from experience, again, little things that stick out have a tendency to get caught on stuff. And by stuff, I'm really talking like the first thing, the first image that comes to my mind is like the little triangular tops of chain link fences. Somehow, when you're on a foot bail, they always have a tendency to like catch crap, right? And uh, so I, I like when things can tuck away like this. Not only does it look good, it helps with a professional appearance, not necessarily for a range belt like this, but if you were to use this belt on duty, but also uh, because it is able to reduce snag hazards. All right, so moving around, this is a Safari Land 6390 RDS. We know everybody's going to ask. It's awesome. Okay, built for Glock 19 with Surefire X300, pretty much the gold standard. Uh, it's an awesome holster. Just get one. <laughs> okay, they're uh, you're not you're not going to regret it. They're freaking great. A uh, bunch of people have been asking about this. This is um, called an SRC. And it is made by our friends at Gray Fighter. And what it does is allows you to carry a tourniquet uh, in front of the holster like this. You can also carry a, uh, a rifle sling. Uh, it's able to do that for like VCQB stowage and that kind of thing. But in this particular configuration, we use it for a North American Rescue Cat tourniquet. Great, great uh, way to carry a tourniquet here. Mounted, all of this is mounted uh, using a QLS fork. Safari Land, uh, slight uh, negative cant, I guess is what they call that. Um, on the True North Concepts MHA, and all of that is shielded by our Ice Vents Classic uh, holster pad down here on the bottom, takes that hot spot away. We have ours set up with a leg strap here, and the leg strap, we kind of did a little bit of a modification. True North shows the leg strap mounted kind of on the underside here, but we chose to mount it on the top because it makes it a little bit more comfortable and gives you a little bit of clearance. Now, full disclosure. I actually hate leg straps. I hate them. Um, I'm not even going to mince words about it. I really don't like them. Uh, we used it in this particular configuration because, as I said, the chalk belt, just like most of our belts here, are set up for uh, R&D. Okay, so they're set up for field testing. They are not necessarily set up for duty use. If this was my personal duty belt, which we will do that in a future video to, uh, coming soon, there's no way I would have a leg strap. Zero percent chance. And I will go into details for why I hate leg straps in that video. 
Uh, continuing around our Blue Force Gear chalk belt, we have it lined with our Ice Fence Classic hook receptive loop pads. Um, that's these right here, super comfortable. Now, if you want a ton of details on this configuration, our buddy John Dufresne from Kinetic Consulting did a full video. This is really kind of his brainchild, uh, his concept. Uh, it's really awesome. Short version for why we do it is because it is a super, super comfortable way to distribute the load of our testing systems when we have a bunch of different layer changes. So thick jackets, uh, thin jackets, no jackets, whatever, then we kind of want that more traditional war belt, range belt configuration, and the Ice Fence Classic hook receptive loop pads give us exactly that freedom. So continuing around, Blue Force Gear, Micro Trauma Kit now, pretty much one of the gold standards in uh, med kits, especially on belt. Uh, pull tabs on either side for ambidextrous access, totally awesome. Now, coming around here, this is one of the main complaints that I have seen people have with the Blue Force Gear chalk belt. Um, and I'm, we're also gonna give you a tip on how you alleviate that complaint. So the complaint is, why is this handle here, guys? I hate the handle, it takes up space that I need for my, insert something here. Well, it's not a handle per se, okay? It is a hard point for lashing. Okay, not this side, this is actually the side that goes up front. It's a hard point for things like this, okay? Now, this thing is for when you ride around in helicopters. I don't do that. Um, I work on a square range because I'm testing equipment and we're designing things and we're developing things all the time. But if, so I don't have this attached, okay? Used to, but not anymore. Uh, so these hard points are for that. Now, normally it takes up valuable real estate that you couldn't use uh, for something else, except that going back to, again, our buddy John at Kinetic Consulting, he came up with this ingenious design for a dump pouch, which is able to, as you can see, fit underneath, I'll see if I can move this so that the camera can get a shot of it, so that it gets underneath the handle, uh, this, this hard lashing point. It's absolutely awesome. Super elegant, very, very well thought out, characteristic of kind of the way that John's brain works, which is super neat. Opens up, very light material. I'm not gonna go into this whole thing because there's a, he's got a video that reviews the whole thing on his channel. One of my favorite features is that it has these uh, mag retention elastic sections inside. Now, full disclosure, have I ever used those? No, but I love that they're there, just in case. Super cool. Uh, also holds a gas mask. He goes into all the details, which you guys can check out on his video, which we'll provide a link to down below. Okay, rotating around to bring this thing home, we have HSGI polymer tacos. I like two rifle, two pistol. Short story there, uh, this is a carryover from you know my duty days because I always wanted to have more pistol, or more rifle ammo, excuse me, than I wanted to have pistol ammo. Rifle is a better tool if you have a choice. So therefore, I wanted to have two rifle mags if at all possible, that's why these are here. Plus, for square range work, classes, that kind of thing, rifle pouches, rifle uh, tacos, frankly, can carry more things. <laughs> uh, if it's a med mag, if it's a snack, if it's a, you know, a Leatherman, whether it's a Skeletool or a Mutt or whatever, you can carry it, okay? If you want uh, pistol mags, you can carry a 17 rounder, a 21 rounder, a 33 rounder, whatever, you got a rifle mag, carry a rifle mag, okay? So super versatile for our purposes, very, very uh, handy. Uh, you can also put the Leatherman inside the uh, pistol uh, tacos. Uh, it's just a great general purpose utility section of the belt here. All right, last but not least, we have this front flashing hard point, which normally is where you could put this thing, but uh, since that's not what we're doing, I just have a Night Eyes s beaner here so that I can carry two critical things, really ears, a um, couple things. One, I like to have my ears up front. Uh, not, I know it would suck if you were running around, but that's not why you, that's not when you put your ears there. You put your ears there so that they're easy to access. And really, that's why they live there. Um, they're easy to access, plus amps are like two grand. So you're not gonna wanna lose these puppies, right? Uh, the other thing that I put there is gloves, both ready and easy to access for when class, work, et cetera, testing resumes. So hopefully that was really helpful for you guys. Um, we would really, really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff because it really, really does help us. Hopefully it also helps you too because then you get a drop on these videos when we get them out there so you can get that gouge uh, in a timely fashion. Uh, our understanding is that like 80% of you, 88% of you are not subscribed. So hopefully we can bring that number down, uh, number of subscribers up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll bring you more of these range belt builds or testing belt builds. Uh, in the weeks to come. Until then, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll catch you next time. Stay frosty.